Welcome to Bavork in our ongoing exploration of the Realize operations. In this video, we're going to do a quick review of how tagging works in vSphere. In the previous video, we talked about what tagging is. We said that tagging, in effect, allows us to label objects in our vSphere or vRealize operations inventory. In this particular video, what we're going to be doing is focusing just briefly on vSphere to review how tagging is set up in vSphere. If you're already familiar with tagging in vSphere and would like to jump ahead to the next video, feel free to do so. In that next video, we'll be talking about how to set up tagging under vRealize operations. All right, so if you want to see the demonstration of vSphere, here's what we're going to be doing. In a moment, we're going to jump into the lab environment, and what I'm going to demonstrate is how to create a tag category called SLA and three accompanying tags called gold, silver, and bronze. Let's jump into the lab environment and do that. As you can see, I'm here in my lab environment, which, by the way, is a rather small environment, but it'll work just fine for our purposes. I'm in the HTML5 based vSphere web client on the home screen. But just to illustrate, I'm going to go quickly to the host and clusters view. And I'll just randomly pick a host, such as this host number five. And I could have picked any other host, or for that matter, I could have picked any vSphere object. If you go look at a vSphere object such as this host, go to its summary tab and scroll down a bit, you'll see a section titled tags. Now right now this host has no tags assigned to it, which is why this section here is blank. Uh, we could assign a tag, but currently uh, the only tags that we have and tag categories that we have are the ones that VMware has created by default. But what I want to do is show you how to create your own tag categories and tags. To do so, you're going to go to the menu and down towards the bottom, you're going to select tags and custom attributes. And when you do so, uh, make certain that you click on the tags tag, excuse me, the tags tab first. And to start off with, you'll notice that we're on the tags button and we can see some tags that VMware has already set up. We're not going to use these. And uh, before we actually create our own tags, we're going to jump over to tag categories. Remember in vSphere, tags are the labels themselves, but we want some way to organize them. So we're going to set up a new tag category called SLA. So we'll go over to categories. And as you can see, VMware has already predefined five different tag categories here. But what we're going to do is create our own new tag category by clicking on the Add Category button. And in this interface, we're going to start by giving our tag category a name. We'll call this one SLA. We could type a description. Uh, I'll save us a little time here and skip that step. In vSphere, you can specify that the tags in this category can be applied to objects, but only one of these tags from this category. Or you can say many tags from this category can be applied to an object. We'll keep things simple here and just say one tag. Now below, we have a whole bunch of checkboxes for different types of vSphere objects. Let me unselect all objects and show you that if I wanted to, I could say that the tag category that I'm creating here and its tags are only applicable to hosts. Or if I wanted to, I could say it's also these, um, the tags in this category are also applicable to clusters and data stores and data store clusters and so forth. But again, we'll keep things simple. By selecting just host, in effect, what we're saying here is that the tags that I'm about to create and put into this category can only be applied to hosts, ESXi hosts. All right, that's all it takes to create the tag category itself. So we'll simply click the OK button. And then we will go to the Tags button. And again, we can see two tags that VMware has already pre-created, but we want to create our own new tags. So we're going to click on the New Tag, Add New Tag button. And in the interface that pops up, we just need to type the name for each of our tags. And again, remember, these tags in vSphere are the labels themselves. So I want to call one of my SLA tags Gold for our most expensive, most highly performant hosts in our environment. Again, I could type a description, but to save us a little time here, I'll skip that. Under category, I need to make certain that I pick the category that I just created, because this tag and the next two tags I'm going to create are uh, contained by the tag category called SLA. I'll click SLA, 
And as far as the first tag is concerned, that's it. I just click OK and I'm done. I'm just going to do that real quickly again here for two more tags. I'll create a silver tag. Again, make certain that you pick the right category, SLA. Click OK. And we'll do that one more time for our bronze tag. Again, pick the right category. And setting up the tags themselves is just that simple. So setting up in tag categories, you know how to do that now. And the actual tags within the tag category, you know how to do that too. What's left to demonstrate here is how do you use these? Or um, specifically, how do you apply these new tags to objects? Well, you know that the tags I just created are in a tag category that says these tags can only be applied to host systems. So I'm not going to go to the networking view or the storage view or the VMs and templates view. I'm going to go to hosts and clusters view. And in here, I can see different hosts. For instance, here's host SA ESXi 03, 04, 05, and so forth. But let's start first by choosing the wrong type of object. I'm going to go to this a cluster here called site A compute 01 and when I select it it has a tags section let me just scroll down to that actually it must be over on the other side there we go so it's over on the right side of the screen in this case and uh, you'll notice that that particular cluster already has a tag a predefined tag from VMware already assigned to it but we want to assign the new tag um, gold silver or bronze that we just created so we'll simply click on Assign, and in the list of tags here, we don't see gold, silver, or bronze. Again, that's because the tags that we created, gold, silver, and bronze, are part of a tag category that explicitly states that its tags are only applicable to hosts. A cluster's not a host, so we're in the wrong neighborhood. Let's click Cancel. And instead, let's pick one of these first three hosts. And we'll go down to its tag section. Right now it has no tags applied to it. But if we scroll down just a little bit, we'll see the link that says assign. If we click assign, a window pops up. And here are the three and the only three tags that can be assigned to hosts according to our setup. So if I want to make our host 03, why don't we make them uh, bronze? We'll say for instance, we'll say bronze click Assign, and now our host SA-ESXi03 has been assigned the tag called Bronze. So there you have it. That's a quick review of how to set up tag categories, tags, and how to apply those tags in vSphere. After that quick review of tagging in vSphere, in the next video, we are going to perform our first demonstration of how to do tagging in vRealize operations.